Hello everyone, I'm Master Austin Eleven, and welcome back to Legend of Zelda Echoes of Wisdom. Last time we start off our adventure exploring the Suthorn Beach, and well, we got ourselves the Tri Rod, a new cloak for Zelda, and learn of our echoing ability. And now in this one, I wanted to do well some harpies collecting and everything, and check out the first um rift that. Um, I still was gonna check out this episode, and I am gonna check out this episode also. I just wanted to get that piece of heart real quick, as I did look, um, I did look up a quick, grab some heart pieces that I may have missed in the playthrough, so, yeah, I found a couple, so there's one at the shop, and I'm pretty sure there's one in the prairie, or somewhere, so, yeah, and, oh, yep, yeah, there's the rift that saw this dude's wife, sorry about it, damn it, I mean, uh, can't help you much with that, but I'm, I'm sorry about that, man, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry about that, <laughs> can't help you much there, but... Um, yeah, I love the music here as well, like, the music for this area. It's just nice, in general, just, the music for Echoes of Wisdom so far, it just sounds so nice and just relaxing and chill. So nice, especially with the villages, it's just so nice, but okay. Enough of me dilly-dallying and freaking frallying. Let's go and make our way, um, I guess, off to the warp point. And check out the first rift in Echoes of Wisdom. Let's check out the first rift here, people. Let's do this. Let's check out the very first rift, and then, um, yeah, we'll see what else is from here, so, let's check this out, and let's go and enter it, let's go and enter into the still world, the very first rift, and then I want to do some exploration, see what hard pieces we can get, if we find any that is, and we the still see there in forest, bro, this is so sick, he's hilarious, oh, Bro, Zelda screech. Bro, Zelda screech as she falls. Bro, oh my god, I feel so bad now. But, bro, the purple... I guess you can fall off, so let me be careful to not fall off. Um, Yeah, this is crazy. This is the still world. The first rift in the game. The music is so just kind of off I'm not gonna lie. This is the still world. Everything you see floating around in here was sucked in through a rift. Okay. And ends up here will begin to break apart and eventually vanish completely. Oh jeez. Um, so that means the people may... I don't even want to think about that. Me and my friends have the ability to restore things that have ended up in rifts though. Well, that's good. Speaking of, I sent my friends deeper in here. Let's go, Zelda. Okay, I guess we shall be on our way off to Save Tri's friends. Save Tri's buddies. Because we got plenty to do and oh god. Oh god, what is it? What is this thing? What is this thing? No, please. No, 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 no. What is this? It's catching up to me. Oh god. Wait. Oh, so it spawns enemies, and that's pretty much it. Okay, I guess. You know what? Let me try spawning a P hat. <laughs> come on, guys. Come on, buddies. Come on, buddies. Oh, come on, case. Oh, get wrecked. Get wrecked, dude. Come on, P hat. Kill him. Get him. Get him. Yeah, nice job, Pia. You know, Pia, you did a good job, buddy. You did a good job. Jump. Make the jump. Oh, God. Almost didn't make that. But, oh, God, this dude is just here. When people get pulled into rifts, they kind of petrify and can't move anymore. And if they stay that way, they'll eventually fade away. Okay. But then what happened to you, Zelda? You're special. Um, is that supposed to make me feel better? Is that supposed to make me feel better? Because honestly, I don't, I can't tell. I'm not supposed to make me feel better or not. Because <laughs> we're special. How is that supposed to make me feel better? I'm not going to lie. Oh, God. Oh, jeez. Okay. Piat, kill him. Piat, get him. Kill him. Yeah, let's go. He's y'all dead to me. Wait, can I somehow, like, <gasps> yes. Piat, go. Go on a rampage. Go on a rampage. Oh, God. Piat, please. Kill him. Please. Yeah. <laughs> Using the PS to kill the piece. Let's go. Collect Zelda style. Man, I just love the Zelda jingle. Like, this game just brings back so many Zelda memories from, from the past, from when I was younger. Like, I'm not gonna lie, I go to Wisdom right now, it's bringing back so many memories from when I was, like, way younger, playing Zelda games like Link, Link to Worlds, Ocarina of Time, all those games. Just the older Zelda games with the traditional Zelda formula, which this game is kind of bringing back, in a way, along with the open world formula. I miss it, man. It's so nice seeing just all this. Okay, buddy, you can die for me, please. Buddy, please. Hey, there we go. Doors unlocked. Nice. So now the door's unlocked. Let's go ahead and I guess make our way through here. And okay, so it pops us out over here. Okay. The stilled. Okay, we're still in the same stilled forest. 
Neat. Okay. Oh, let's check out this. Wait, what's this? What's this doing? What's this doing? Wait. I keep on forgetting the buttons. I'm not gonna lie, guys. I keep forgetting the buttons to this game. I need to get used to them. Um, let me try and plop a bed. Um, I love how you can still rest on a bed. I still find that hilarious. Okay, let's just go ahead. There we go. Perfect. Oh, and there's a chest here. Okay. And, oh, 20 rupees. Excellent. Excellent. Yeah, baby. Alright, we haven't listened to HP, so I don't need to worry about that. Let me actually, uh, take care of all the beds. There we go. So down this ladder as well. Um, what is beyond this ladder? Interesting. Okay. Oh, God. Oh, God. Uh, I keep on pressing the plus button. Dang it. Um, I need, like, a key hat. There we go. Get him, Piat. Get him. Get him. Oh, yeah? You want to go? You want to go, Moblin? That's right. You're dead to me. And then we got two monster fangs. Awesome. What's this? This looks like a special chest. Oh, 50 rupees. That makes us really happy. Wow. I mean, I love the text bubbles. Like, I miss... I really miss these text bubbles. Like, saying, that makes you really happy. Or, like, excellent for a number of rupees. I miss those text boxes because they're so funny. I'm, I want to say they're in Tears of the Kingdom or not, but I don't think I don't think they are. No, I don't think they are. Maybe. Maybe they are. Maybe I'm misremembering. I don't know. Oh, God. Wait, it's one of these. Okay. Take care of him, Piat. Take care of him. <laughs> Take care of him, Piat. Come on. Fend for me. Fight for me. Ah. Oh. Okay, buddy. Okay, bro, 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 bro. Chill. Chill, 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 chill. Chill. Relax, my dead. Bro just casually knocked him off. Or just knocked him off the platform. Damn, Piat, you savage for that. Honestly, you savage for that. Jeez. Okay, so here's a blue rupee. Did nothing for me. Um, let's just jump on down. And just continue exploring. Let's head over here. And oh. Oh no, another person. Wait, is this the wife? Is this the lady to the dude? Oh man. Hey, remember this one from the castle? I can restore her back to normal if we mend this rift. Okay, so we gotta mend this rift first and wait. You're telling me if we do a spin then jump, Zelda image continues. That that looks sick. I'm not it's a weird little detail that I'm noticing, but it's sick. Oh well, wait! Wait, this is the first temple in the game. Wait, what? This is where you were trapped not too long ago. Wait, this is the first temple, isn't it, from the trailer? We're getting closer to my friends. They're further in, but we're getting there. Okay. So, yeah, this is the Suthorn Ruins, the first temple of the game, guys. Oh, my God. And, okay, the temple has two floors. The way it was back to the now warp here using the map. So, if we want, we can warp to the start of the temple. Why would we want to do that? I don't know. Don't ask questions and don't expect answers. <laughs> but, oh, wait. Oh, yeah, this is literally this is from the trailer as well. Zelda learning bind and all that. This is where she learned how to use bind to move objects. Literally just like Ultra Hand in Tears of the Kingdom. So, that's a pretty big rock, huh? It is indeed, and also I need to tighten my mic. <laughs> you know, when I'm fixing rifts, I have to move a lot of things around. I bet the ability to do that would come in handy for you. Probably. If you could get me with the rod, I can move things if you, for you based on your movement. Try fixing this boulder and then guide me by pressing X. Okay. Let's do that then. Um, ba bam Whoa, bro. So, we're bound together. Okay, now try moving. Okay, so you use guy try, you zeal to target whatever you want to try to bind to. Okay, makes sense. You know, I, I, wanna, I want the boulder on the switch. Oh, okay, I need, I need to release it, just, it's just there. The boulder just landed there. Okay, I'll take it. I'll take it, baby. Um, just this again, so easy peasy, baby. Easy. Alright, let me break more pots because, you know, we're the pot-breaking lover. We're the pot-breaking lover, baby. At least, now here we are. Um, oh, what's this? A new enemy, a new echo. Let's do it. Um, where is my candle boy? Candle boy, it's your time to shine, buddy. It's your time to shine, buddy. Um, there. Can you, like, burn him to death, please? Thank you. <laughs> oh my god, there we go. Another echo, which is the Strandula. Okay, that's an interesting echo, to say the least. Um, let me just kill you right now. Oh god. Oh god. Please. Kill him. Yeah, baby. Let's go. Oh my god. We just bl brutally murdered him. Oh my god. Okay. Um, let me actually go ahead and head over 
to the strangula. We go ahead and hey, look at that, we connected the string. Awesome. And actually, if we do this, yeah, we can access the chest. Let's go. These puzzles are like so simple, but they're also so neat to solve. And hey, the dungeon map. Awesome. So press minus. Um, well, we, we can toggle the still world view. Oh, wait, what? The still world view. Whoa. Oh, wait, we can toggle it between the main map, the still world, and then the dungeon. That's that's honestly really cool. I'm not gonna lie, that's really cool. Um, let's go and use the spider again. Also, these puzzles, they're so simple, but they're so it's just something about it. They're so satisfying to solve them. Now, I guess let's continue on the temple. Hey, more electric apples. I'll take those. I'll take those all day. Um, let's actually just let's just pop more spiders down. You know, may as well. <laughs> oh, we're just popping spiders on spiders today, boys. Okay. Um, what do we do from here? Okay, this is a enemy. I don't want to face him right now, so I'm just not going to. I'm going to use my pee hat, though, because I want the pee hat. Oh, it's the same elevator. Wait, this is the same area that we were in when um, Link saved us from Ganon, right? So this is, like, the same elevator and everything? I want to say so, at least. Yeah, yeet, yeet. Let's go. Okay. What is this? Is this a boss fight? Oh, nope. It's just a dark nut. Okay. Um, can you kill him, please? Oh my god, just chaining it, bro. P hats are OP. P hats overpowered. P hats are oh stinking P. Oh my god. Let's actually investigate this area as well. Um, oh wait, I forgot. We can learn this. Let's go and learn it. And that is, yep, it, the Dark Nut Echo. Awesome. That's pretty dang cool, dude. Um, let's go through this doorway as well. Now let's go and head down this ladder. Let's check this out real quick check this out um what is the oh we gotta use the candle boy we gotta use candle boy here oh god i fell down okay nothing matters much because we can easily just do this there we go easy peasy easy peasy what did i tell you um let's go ahead and pop a tree down and then let's just pop a crate down there we go and then we can easily push this okay Again, like these puzzles are so simple, but they're so satisfying to solve, you know? They're just they're so satisfying to solve. I mean, Echoes of Wisdom, I just I'm loving this game right now, guys. I'm I'm seriously loving this game. I want to play it so bad on my own time, but I also want to spoil myself for this blind playthrough of the game, because trust me, there is hero mode to this game. Um I haven't started off yet, but there is a hero mode to the game. You go to difficulty, yes, there is a hero mode. I will not be doing that for this playthrough, I'm playing on normal for the this blind LP. Then in the future, after this playthrough, I plan on doing a hero mode playthrough, which will not be 100%. It'll just be a casual hero mode playthrough, me challenging myself, and checking out the game and how hard it is on hero mode. That's pretty much how it's going to be. So yeah, so it's just going to be a casual playthrough on hero mode, not 100%, just casual. Unlike this playthrough, which is 100%. <laughs> it's still casual, but it's more so 100%. Let's get this teleportation spot as well, and nice, okay. Nice. Now, um, wait, what do we do here? <gasps> wait, don't tell me. We use bind to yank the shield off? Hey, bro, the puzzle solving. The bind puzzle solving is honestly so neat. It's just, it's so neat, man. Oh, God, there are keys. Keys, keys are rude. <laughs> Get burnt to a crisp, buddy. <laughs> you suck. <laughs> you suck, Case. You can suck it. <laughs> oh my god. I just destroyed the keys. Let's go ahead and... Uh, wrong way to place down the beds. Crap. Crap. Um, let me place them down like that. There we go. We also place it down like this. Boom. Eh. There we go. Okay, we good. We good. Okay. So let's chest scare ourselves. But the room is okay. Eggs... Oh, it makes us really happy. Aw. I was gonna make the excellent joke again, dang it. Okay, there we go. Let's also go ahead. Oh, I love how the bed is already just so we can just jump along. Let's go, we let's go. Man, the puzzle solving is just yeah. I can't get over it. I can't get over it, man. Oh god. Um P hat, it's your time to shine, buddy. Your time to shine. Come on. Kill him. Yeah, get him. Heck yeah. Kill the dude. Kill the dark nut. Kill him. Kill him. Oh, wait. Wait. <gasps> we can hold. Wait. <gasps> That's such a cheese strap. That's such a cheese strap. 
<laughs> Dude, that's oh, that's so cheesy, though, bro. We just wrecked him by using bind to freeze him. That's that's OP. That's honestly overpowered. I thought that would work, but oh, wait. But what's this? Wait, huh? Is the person who fought the blue monster? Yeah, uh, Link. Not Link. What? Oh God. Okay. So we gotta fight Link now. Or corrupted link, whatever it is. Oh god. You know what? I'ma yank your shell just like I did that statue. Yeah, take that, buddy. Take that. Come on. Come on, Piat. Oh, oh my god. Well, you can also bind him. That's funny. He does have a heart of damage. That's not fun. Get over here, Link. Come on. Out of here. Come on. Oh my god. Get him. Oh, yeah, she just still Okay, wait, he's second phase now? Okay, I'm gonna guess that he is not too friendly. Oh god. Oh god. Okay. Oh god. No. Oh god. Oh jeez. Dude is just spin attacking nothing. Dude is literally spin attacking nothing. Linky boy, I'm right over here. I'm here! Ow! Youch, you hurt. And I hate you. Get over here. You know what, Link? You're butthead. Get out of here. Oh yeah, come on. Get him, Pia. Oh, shoot me. Uh-oh. I'm in danger. I'm in danger. Oh my god, what the frick, dude? Come on. Get him. Yeah. Come on. Get him, Dark Knight. Come on. Kill him. Kill him. Come on. I'm just gonna keep on smiting Dark Knight. I don't care. Wait, there we go. Did we do it? Did we do it? Did we do it? It seems like he's dead. Okay. He disappeared into nothingness. Oh, oh the sword is just like in the trailer. Wait, we're getting the ability. We're getting the ability just like the trailer. That was intense. Who thought the guy who helped you before, but this one wanted to hurt you. He was weird, like the imposter's back at the castle. Exactly. Looks like he left something behind. Yeah, looks like he did, and let's go ahead and pick it up, and we get ourselves a mysterious sword, bro. That is just too cool. It's the weapon the swordsman in the green tunic had, the name Link is engraved on it. That's too funny. That's honestly too funny. I feel powerful energy coming from that sword, even more powerful than the large rifts. Yeah, that sword has a special kind of power. Okay. So, we can raise the sword. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Raise it, Zelda. Raise it. Raise it. Oh my god. Bro, this is gonna be so sick. This is gonna be so freaking sick, dude. We're Sword Fighter Zelda. Let's go. Oh yeah, baby. This is so good. So good. So now. You look strong like that guy who wears green. Mysterious swords to raise. It was strategic attack with Y. Wall draw sword defend, defend with your shield pressing and holding ZL. Okay. Jump higher than usual with B. Hold down. Okay, yeah, for a spin attack. We know that. Okay. Okay. Neat. Go and do spin attack. Oh, yeah. Wait, we can jump higher. Than oh, wait. Oh, this is the energy. Yeah, to refill our meter. Okay. Whoa, dude. We can jump higher than usual. Okay, I don't want to waste it. I want to kind of savor it. Believing the form. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Refill the energy gauge. Okay. Neat, though. That's neat. Okay. I'm really looking forward to using this ability because this is going to be hype. Using the sword fighter form is going to be so damn sick. I am really looking forward to it. Um, let's actually go ahead and plop down a tree. Um, and then let's also go ahead... And plop down like trampoline, maybe. Maybe. Come on. No. No. Oh, damn it. Eh. There we go. Okay. Um, I'm gonna hope that I can do something with this. Come on. Time to. Oh my god, this is embarrassing. Alright, you know what? I'm not gonna bother with the chest, whatever. I'm already sick and tired of it. I'm just go and grab this rock and go. Boom. Here we go. Alright. Seems simple enough. Let's go ahead and just hop on over. Alright. I'll, I'll, I'll maybe get that chest at a later point. We'll see, though, honestly. We'll see. Um. 
what's up with this area? Okay. So there was that. Let's head through this door then. And... Okay, there's a locked door here to the right. We can't access it because we don't have a small key. Um... Ooh, okay, so there's another teleport. Okay. So I'm assuming in each temple in Echoes of Wisdom, there's going to be, like, at least a few teleportation spots. Maybe more, depending on how large the dungeon is. Um, but who knows? I mean, this temple has three on its own, so maybe future temples, if they're larger, then they're going to have even more teleportation spots. But, ooh, this is a Deku Baba. Let's go. You know what? He averaged Deku Baba. Who wins? He averaged Deku Baba. Who wins? Let's go. Come on. Kill him. Heck yeah, alright, and we learn the Deku Baba Echo, awesome, nice, alright, let's go, dude. You know what? Time to start a fire farm, baby. Time to start a fire farm. Come on, just die, buddy. Die. Let's go. Again, sword fire farm is so sick, such a cool ability. I don't want to waste it, to be fair, I really don't want to waste it, so I'm going to try my best to not waste it. Um, let's actually see if we can go ahead and get up here nice and easy. Eh. Oh god. Well, you're not very nice, are you? Um. <laughs> yeah, about that, buddy. Wow, what the hell, dude? Seriously? Wow. Wow, dude. God, no. Come on. Just. just, just freaking plant, please. Thank you, P Hat. Oh my god. Oh, wait, did I already use the fairy that I have? Wait, did I use the fairy that I have? I didn't. Okay, yeah, we still have the fairy. We have the fairy, people. We have the stinking fairy, so we all good right now. For now, at least. Where are we supposed to- <gasps> Wait. Bind? Yank his ha- Yank him? Yank him? Oh my god. Dude, the puzzles, man. The puzzles. They're so unique, but so much fun at the same time. It's like, it's just too funny to me. Genuinely, it is too freaking funny to me. We got small key, okay. Nice. Let's go make our way over to that locked door then. Seeing as how, um... Yeah, now it's time to make our way through this locked door and investigate these areas and check out what they got for us. So, let's do it. And also, I just love spinning. It reminds me of Spin Attack with Link and just, yeah, I just, I love it. I, I just, honestly, right now, I love playing as Zelda. I'm loving this experience right now. I just, I cannot express that enough. Um, let's go ahead and take the statue. Just place it there. Okay, simple enough. Not too bad. Nice. Okay, um... Let's go to make our way down the ladder. Can I find any hearts? Oh, oh my god, Clutch Fairy. Bro, Clutch is fairy in my life. <laughs> Literally Clutchest fairy ever. I still have to go through this temple on my own personal file, so... On my own time after this episode, after our, after I've gotten to a point where I'm happy with it in this episode, I'm gonna play this game on my own time and go through this temple on my own file and explore every nook and cranny. No, uh, kind of like what I'm doing right now, pretty much. But I'm gonna do all of that on my own file. Oh yeah, Zelda. There's one more thing you can do when you're using Bind. After binding yourself to something with X, try holding R. Holding R will follow your bound to. Okay, interesting. Let's do it then. So hold down R. We're gonna follow it. Oh yeah, we're following it. Hey. Na 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 na. All right, let's go and release, and wait, don't leave without me, don't leave without me, please, don't leave without me, oh god, okay, okay, at least it, it takes a second to actually move, so that's nice of it, um, let's go ahead and make our way up these platforms, and then, come on, come here, platform, I need you, now of all times, um, let's actually see what's around, so there's a platform here, oh, Okay, so we want to use this one to follow, because this one only goes halfway. So we want to use this one to follow along to the other end. Alright, got you. Alright, I see. Wait, okay. I don't gotta worry too much because it takes a second for it to actually go, but... Oh man, the glossiness, like, bro, the glossiness on Zelda is insane. It's, just, it's so pretty, honestly. This looks so nice, the glossy texture, and wait, wait, no, I want to leave yet, wait, I want to get that chest, I want to see what that chest has, even if it's just rupees, I don't care, I don't care if it's just rupees, I really could care less, um, let's actually go ahead and use a bed, because we do need to be a bit further along, we do need to be a little bit further along, let's go ahead and wait a second for it, alright, 
Let's go ahead and follow it. And boom. There we go. All right. And a red rupee. All right. Nice. I don't care. It's just 20 rupees, but still, it matters. Okay, guys? It matters. The rupees matter. And okay, this one moved faster than the others. Okay. This one certainly moved quicker than the others. But okay. Let's make our way um, through here. And what is this? Um, Am I just supposed to jump with it? Am I just supposed to literally jump with it? Elevated, maybe? Oh, there we go. Okay. Simple enough, so I guess we had to go from the elevated spot where the chest was and then jump with it. Okay, that was simple enough. Not too bad. Honestly, not too bad. And then here, boss key or big key? It's called the big key, okay? So literally, shh, I won't stop making references to other Zelda games, okay, guys? Like, literally, just like Link to the World, just like Link to the Past, those Zelda games. Uh, it was called the big key, but now we have it, so now we can take on the boss of the Suthorn Ruins, the very first temple in the game. So, real quick, um, I'm just... I just, you know, I just, I just want to pop a quick save, you know, because why not? May as well. Just before the boss, for in case we die or something, then we have a quick save point to go back to. What is this, dude? What is this? What's going on? Nobody's here, but I definitely sensed my friends in this spot earlier. Okay. Oh, it's because there's a boss. Just like from the trailers, yup. It's the rock thing. Yeah, it's the freaking rock giant, whatever it is. Okay, wow, this guy is large. He is meaty. Alright, oh, he has eyes. He's not nice. Okay. He's not terribly kind. Okay. Um. My friends, they're in that creature. We've got to get them out of there. Come on, we can do this. I think we can do it too. Try. Heck yeah. Alright, let's just go ahead and yank it out. Come on. And there we go. Okay, perfect, perfect, perfect. Um, let me actually go ahead and use a P. I think you guys P has actually pretty damn good. And this type of thing. Let me actually go ahead and just slash with the P hat. Come on. Just keep on dealing that good damage, baby. Let's go. Are the P hats here? P hats here. Oh, now it's on his arm. Okay. That's awfully kind of you. Oh, dang it. I didn't get it that time. Crap. Wait, the P hat's still attacking it? What the frick? Ow. Oh my god. Oh my god. Ow, 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 ow. Okay, you hurt a lot, buddy. You hurt a lot. Like, a lot, a lot. Come on. There we go. Perfect, perfect. Okay. Sword perform as well. Come on. We got more energy from the dude as well. Come on. Keep on attacking. Oh, God. Oh, my God. What the frick happened? What ha- Okay, second phase. I literally was on top of him for a second there. Okay. Let's yank it out. Come on. Come on. There we go, okay, okay. We got it. Good, good. Let me go and also change the sword fighter form. Come on, we can do this, we can do this, come on. We can do this! Oh, yeah! Oh, wait, did we do it? Wait, that was f so fast! We did it, okay! For the first boss, um, I bet it's meant to be pretty simple, but okay, we automatically went back to normal Zelda. Okay, that was cool, honestly. That was a good boss fight. That was pretty good. I figured we had to yank, because I mean, it was showing for echoes, yanking in the trailer, so I figured use bind to yank the ball since we're doing that throughout this temple. But Zelda, these are my friends. We set them free. They're filled with energy and ready to get to work. So now we can finally fix the rift here. Using our echo ability, we can restore the entire area that was swallowed up by the rift. Watch this. Okay. What's happening? Hmm, what's happening? Okay. Oh, so it tries calling them all together. They're forming like a circle. What's happening? Oh. Huh? Whoa. Oh, damn. So they're like, really repairing the rift. Damn. Oh, nice. Now, like, the golden colors being restored to the area. Nice. And hey, the house is back. Nice. Sweet. Oh. <laughs> a tree was missing. They placed the tree. Oh, my God. I was not expecting that. That was funny. <laughs> that was stupid funny. For no reason. My friend shared some of their power with me. Okay. Oh. Wait, what? Wait. Wait, we can level up try? Oh! This is how you get the ability to spawn more echoes in the game. Okay. So now you get the ability to spawn more echoes. I think I can do even more now. Try gain to triangle. Press by to create all sorts of echoes. 
Okay. Cool. Oh yeah, also they told me something while we were fixing the rift. They said that big rock monster showed up and captured them. So then they weren't able to fix the rift because they were trapped inside the monster. Okay, well, I'm sure there's more we can help. Oh, and one other thing. There are crystals that show when we fix rifts. They're neat, so I'll give them to you, Zelda. Okay. Crystals? Wait, they look like the sword. Five unused crystals. They look like our sword. <gasps> oh. Wait, are these maybe used to, like, level up the sword? Because we saw it's level one. Maybe we can level it up with these. I'm gonna finish it up here so we can head out now if you're ready. Okay, well, then let's do Let's head out then. I think we can leave from that spot. All right, well, then let's head out. Our first hog container in the game. So now we have four hearts. I plan to hopefully get at least five hog containers by this episode. I mean, we only need, like, literally, um, I believe one more piece of heart. Yeah, literally one more piece of heart. And then, uh, yeah, we'll be set. So let's go and talk to try and get out of here. We can travel between the still world and your world here. Do you want to turn to your world now? Uh, yes, please. Yes, absolutely. Okay, let's go. All right, let's head out. Let's head off then. Honestly... I'm so pumped for this, guys. I'm so pumped for this entire game. Like, playing through the entirety of Echoes of Wisdom is going to be quite the journey. It's going to be so much fun. I am looking forward to this. Right now, I'm recording this on the 26th of the game's release. Um, pretty much at night, nearly 9 o'clock. And trust me, tomorrow, I'm going to be recording this, like, way more. So, the rift, which, uh, crap. And there's, is there no log? Crap. If we keep this up, we'll be able to fix all the rifts, and we'll be able to save your father. You there, moment of your time. Uh, who are you? Who this? Oh, we Mr. Left. I'm Left, Mr. of Hyrule. Pardon the intrusion, but could you tell me where we are? Um, by the way, it's Zelda. Oh, Princess Zelda. I'm embarrassed to admit I didn't recognize you in that cloak. Or why are you wearing that? Um, uh, well, we may have wandered posters all over for that for people wanting Zelda, so. So I felt safe from that beast, and now you're out here facing much danger. Yeah, pretty much. I must confess, I'm surprised to hear of your abilities. I never tried coming to you this whole time. Yep, indeed. Yeah. Thank you so much, Try. <laughs> you can see me? Who could miss you? You're floating right there, and aren't you precious? I thought only Zelda could see me. Honestly, Try is adorable. Oh, so Lady Impa can see you? How odd. Oddities aside, I'm worried about His Majesty and the General. We'll need to make a plan. There's much to consider, but for now, let's head to the glowy location Lady Impa told you about. Oh, I'm getting ahead of myself. Would you mind showing me your map? Sure. If I recall correctly. Yeah, that's the place. That's where Lady Impa's brother lives. It makes sense she'd send you there. I'll lead the way. Follow me. Okay, I guess we'll follow you then. And actually, what's over here? What is over here? Oh, it's the Suthorn Ruins. Okay. So that's pretty much where the temple is. Okay, got you. Okay, well, I guess we'll follow you then. Jeez, boss lady. Um, So where are we going? Where are we going? Hey, I'm gonna go to- I'm gonna go ahead of you. Heh <laughs> heh. I'm fastening you. Heh <laughs> heh. Heh heh. I'm fastening you. Wait, is she actually not gonna go- Oh my- If we go too far ahead, she won't continue. Okay. So I guess you don't wanna go too far ahead. I guess you do kinda wanna wait. Um, is it- Okay, it's over here. Well, let me guess. This house? Okay. I figured. Right in here, princess. Okay, let's go and follow them inside. And actually, let me adjust face cam real quick. Cause I don't like- how it's sitting, to be honest. There we go. Looks a bit better. Now I'm more centered in the face cam. Hello, sir. Pardon us, but my name is Left. Lady Impa's my colleague, and... Who the heck? I'm a very busy man. No time for chatter. Now get. I apologize for the nuts visit, but please, we'll only be a moment. No, no, no. I'm about to leave. Come back later. If you could just hear us out. I said no. I've got to go save Link. Oh, hang on here. That's Link's cloak. So why do you have it? Did you see him? Well, uh, actually, Link got sold by Rift, and now we have his stuff. What? Okay, tell me everything. Tell me about the Rifts and anything you know about the Swordsman. Well, he had a sword, and now we have it, and now we have his cloak as well, and stuff happened. Yeah, he's stuck in a Rift. Hm, I understand the situation now. Thanks for the explanation, Princess. No problem. Phew, we finally got through to him. Alright, this has been bugging me ever since you bar barged in here. What is that floaty thing? You can see me too? That's strange. Zelda's always been able to, but now both of you can as well? You're telling me we're the only ones who can see you? That's odd. Maybe it's because a side effect of the rift, because they were swallowed in the rift and now they were taken out, so maybe that's why they can see Tri. Maybe that's why Impa can't see Tri, because Impa was never in a rift. Maybe that's why? Indeed, such a fascinating, mighty, and adorable creature. 
Yeah, yeah, sure. But back to the matter at hand, what is it that you and I have in common? We're, we've both ended up in Rifts and lived to tell the tale. It seems the Rifts changed people somehow. Oh yeah, I guess I should introduce myself. The name's Blueberry. I'm Impa's older brother. And the swordsman who saved you is Link. I made his weapon, the Sword of Might. Mr. Blueberry, why did you make him a sword? Princess, remember that big nasty blue fellow who captured you? The sword was for taking him out. See, I spent my time researching Hyrule's history and its rifts. For ages now, rifts have appeared, and sometimes folks have ended up in them. Those unfortunate enough to be pulled into a rift to vanish without a trace. After which, townsfolk would say they'd have been stolen away. Anyhow, Link made his mission to fight the monsters that came crawling out of the rifts. He also tried to prevent folks from going missing, and I've been helping as I'm able to. Which is why I made him a sword, one that's effective against the rift monsters. The sword of my Prince Zelda's wielding is the very one I hoped I would be of use to Link. So Link was helping out the rifts as well. Plenty of monsters come out of the rifts, but that blue one was particularly powerful. I've got a hunch that if we take him out, it'll fix the whole people disappearing business. Princess, you shared that Link managed to take out the blue guy out, and yet the rifts keep coming. Clearly we're missing something. The rift in the force is gone, but Link's not back. What we need is more information. I may have something useful. When I was thinking about the rift in Hyrule Castle, it felt like I was flown somewhere far away. The rift I was pulled into was a Hyrule Castle, but Princess Zelda found me in a rift in the forest. So how did I end up over there? We're still felt the same rules as your world. Things came differently inside them. My friends have mentioned something about oversized rifts in other areas. We might end up finding the king and other missing people in far off rifts. So maybe Link is somewhere else then? Precisely, I guess. Hey, Zelda. I'm gonna fly up high to look for some other big rifts. Okay, try. Do as you wish, I guess. Do as you wish, I suppose. What do you find, try? What do you find? I think I found some. There's no saying where those father and the others might be, but it's about some big rifts we can go explore. Okay. Oh, okay. So I've marked them on your map, Zelda. So one, um, pretty much west of us and one northeast of us. If we fix the rifts, we may be able to save your father and the others. So let's get to work, Zelda. Okay, I guess we should get to work on this then. Princess Zelda, I must insist that you refrain from going to any more rifts. It's far too dangerous. That's up to her to decide, Minister. I mean, she's the only one capable of mending the rifts. During this time of crisis in Hyrule, we all have to play our parts, Princess Zelda included. You make a salient point, Mr. Blueberry. Princess, I urge you to go with the tribe to the other rifts. You're the only one who can fix them and save all the people who've gone missing. Okay, I guess we will. Minister, you stay here and help me investigate the rifts. We'll play support for the princess. Oh, of course, investigations are my specialty. Princess, the rifts marked by Tri are located in the Greater Desert and Jabul waters. Please let me know if you will require further information. Alright, Princess, I leave it to you to find the King, General Wright, and Link. Oh yeah, I almost forgot, that's what you've got there. Pretty sure I can make it even more powerful than it is. I'll have to do more research on it though, so talk to me later if you're interested. Okay, well, well I am interested about it, so I want to talk about it now. You want to talk about the sword, huh? Oh, the serious rest of the main quest is complete, okay. As I mentioned before, the Sword of Might is my craftsmanship. For a while now, I've been researching a type of crystal that's sometimes left behind them from the rifts. In my research, I discovered that it's highly effective against the rift monsters. Aha, uh -huh, it appears you have some of that blue crystal with you. I ended up calling it Might Crystal. It's what I forged the Sword of Might from, in fact. During my investigations in the rifts, I met Link, who's from Suthorn Village. I met the sword for him, and the rest is history. Link's made good use of the sword. Meanwhile, I've continued forging things with Might Crystals. See the machine in the corner? I designed it to enhance the sword. Okay, can we enhance it? Eh? Uh -huh. Looking at the sword, it seems to have lost some of its power. But once we enhance it, it'll be back to its original state. You should give it a try. All you need to do is bring me some light crystals. Okay, so check the machine. Okay, I guess I'll check the machine then. We want to enhance. Oh, wait, we need to enhance the sword or the energy. Oh, make the sword as strong as it was. Or enhance our energy. So it will even enhance our energy. So let's enhance our energy. Let's see how far that gets us. Let's see how much we can enhance our energy. Pretty much the duration of how long we can use the sword. That's our energy. How far can we expand it with just five for the first time? I'm curious. Energy gauge. Oh, now level. Oh, damn. So if I brought it all the way to level two. So maybe if we get five more, then we'll get it to level three. Oh, never mind. My energy. Which is at level 2, enhance it again, we need 10. So we need 10 more to en enhance either the sword or the energy. Honestly, I kind of want to go for enhancing our sword rather than our energy. Because I feel like that'd 
be better, but at the same time, I don't know for sure, honestly. I don't know for sure. Um, let me actually take a look here. Where might I want to explore, to be honest? I genuinely don't know. You know, let's go to explore to, to the west and see what we can find. Oh, oh, sweet. The Southern Prairie. Okay. So we're in this new area. Maybe we'll find, maybe we'll find another heart piece in this area. I don't know, honestly. Um, let's go ahead and just make our way around, see what we can find. And oh, there's a chest here. We we'll definitely use that chest. Okay, buddy, you can die, please. Please and thank you. Come on, kill him. <laughs> he just died in there. Wait, kill the. Get the Octorok. Get the Octorok. Oh, yeah. Wait, can we re learn things in the water? Oh, we, we can? What? We can learn echoes in the water? That's new. That's interesting. Okay. Well, that's neat. Well, we got the Octorok echo now. Um, let me actually go ahead and try and get up here somehow, some way. Oh, my God. I did not mean to spawn the weather, but you know, I'll take it. I'll take it, okay? I will freaking take it. I should go ahead and jump up here and open up this chest. And, oh, wait. Ten potions of rock salt. Okay. Interesting. Very interesting. Okay. I wonder if there's fall damage in this game. Is there fall damage in Echoes of Wisdom? If you guys know, let me know in the comment section down below. If you guys know if there's fall damage in Echoes of Wisdom, let me know. And what is this? <gasps> Piece of heart, wait. Wait. That's literally the one piece of heart I need right now. Okay, okay. That's the one piece of heart I need right now. Um, grab, let me go and spawn a pea hat so I can take care of these enemies. And then let's go and get ourselves this piece of heart. Go, pea hat, go. Go, man, go. Heck yeah. Oh, yeah. Are you kidding? What the frick? He just killed my man. You do not kill my man. Get away with it. You do not kill my man. Get away with it. Darkness, can you, like, take this dude? Can you take him on? Wow. Really? Kill him. Thank you. Wait, we can learn this. What's this? What's this enemy? A Krotula. Okay, interesting. So, a Krotula. Okay. Oh, damn. I was gonna say, if he killed him too, that was, that was gonna be a twofer. Almost was a twofer. <gasps> give me that, give me that, give me that. There we go. Awesome. Alright. Um, let's go ahead and use our bed. And let's just go ahead... And just spawn a bunch of beds, I guess. Wait, we just got a Crotula. How will that work? So we spawn a Crotula. Maybe we can, like, follow it? Oh my, bruh. That's crazy, that's crazy. Oh my god, look, the green orb's still glowing around Zelda. But hey, four heart pieces, let's go! Let's go, man. We're at five hearts now. Already we're at five hearts, and that goes to wisdom. I actually don't know how many harpies there are in this game. Um, maybe I'll Google it. Actually, maybe I won't. I'm probably going to Google it later in this playthrough if I truly don't figure it out. But I guess we'll see. In oh my god. Okay, that rock almost smacked me in the face. Not nice of you, Octoc. Not kind of you at all. And wait. Uh, no getting past that. What do you mean? This, this is the shortcut. Back to the ranch. Who's the priest that blocked it off? Um, I don't know. I would not plan to go this way. The road's blocked. I'm going to get to taking another route, but that feels like admitting defeat. Um, perhaps I can help out. Maybe if we use a dark nut. Oh my, I love how we scared the dark nut. Don't worry, man. The dark nut's not gonna hurt you. Don't worry. Um, let's actually go ahead and take a rock. Oh my god, really? Okay, let me go and take the dark nut back. He's kind of in the way. Let me see. We really can't break the box? Seriously, we can't push those either. Okay. I guess we'll save that for a later point, because I don't know exactly what I could do there, to be honest. Um, I guess we could do exploring around and see what we find in these areas. See what we find as we explore. Oh, wait. Oh, we're getting to freaking... We're getting to, um... Uh, the first main quest, which is in the Gruta Desert area. Okay. Honestly, I want to explore this area, but I also want to explore the other areas first, so I think I'll leave this area for last after we explore Jabul Waters, after we explore that area. So I think I'll leave this for later. For now, I'm going to make my way off towards Jabul Waters, so fastest way, to be honest, um, would be... You know, let's, do ex let's explore a little bit. Let's just explore a little bit more and see what we can find, see what we can do, because... I'm going to continue exploring. I, I just, I'm not going to lie. I just want to continue exploring. I'm really into this game right now, guys. And I just, I want to continue exploring around these areas. So what can we find? That's my question. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. No, please. No. 
please. Wait, is this gonna be a new one? Is this gonna be a new one? Uh, come on. Buddy. Please, Dark Knight. Please. Kill him. Please, kill him. Come on. Kill him. There we go. Oh, it's not new. Dang it. Hey. You. Stop it. Stay here. Come on. There we go. Awesome. Alright. Um... What else could we do, bruh? That's what- I don't know. Link, are you there? There's only monsters here. Fight them out for me, please. Okay, well, let's go ahead and do that. <laughs> Come on, kill him. Kill him. Oh, pfft. He let out a screech and he died. That's sad. That's honestly sad. Oh, God. Oh, really? You're just gonna let out a screech? Come on. Come on, kill him. Kill him. Kill him. Oh, there we go. Nice. Check out the enemies and help out this dude. Okay. That's a side quest done. Uh, well, see, this is always the hero egg, huh? You're not Link. Sorry about that. That hood had me thinking you were someone else. Please forgive the confusion. My name is Burley, and I'm a resident of Suthorn Village. I set the chop grass in my village, and before I knew it, I chopped my way to Suthorn Prairie. Well, I was here. I figured I might as well get rid of the shrubs and make a little plot for myself. Those and the monsters appeared, and, well, you know the rest. There's a lesson here. You should never get too absorbed in your work. I'd like to pay you back for saving me. It's not much, but I hope you'll take it. And, oh, Red Ruby, okay. I mean, hey, I'll take it, man. I'll take all the rubies I can get. Oh, Link, the person I mistook you for? He's a brave swordsman from Suthorn Village. He's been light to all of us, but right now, he's off fighting monsters. It's rare to see a young person with that sort of drive to help others. I hope he's doing well, whatever, wherever he might be. Maybe you want to do a swordsman wearing a hood and green tunic. Can you pass him a message? Okay, we'll be there for when he comes home. Okay, well, we will. Um, unfortunately... Well, it's for you, man. We're wearing his free, his blue hood, and but he still has a green tunic, so yeah. Actually, what's going on over here? Ooh, this feels so big. I was finished putting up one of the puzzles in the west, but no, we've seen Princess Zelda yet. First, we were ordered to save her, and now we're ordered to capture her. It doesn't really sit right with me to be treating her like some sort of villain. I mean, it's weird to me, too, but orders are orders and all. Yeah, I guess. Anyway, we live nothing but east and seaside village. Let's patrol here for now, I guess. Okay, so East is Seaside Village, okay. So I'm assuming they won't recognize Zelda as Zelda, um, due to, you know, things in the way. This is a new- oh, there's a new Echo, there's a new Echo, wait, there's a new Echo. Oh my god, get him, get him, come on. Get him. Yeah. Get him, yeah, let's go. Alright, nice. And then this Echo is a Gway, okay. We got a Gway, baby. Let's go. We got a freaking Gway Echo. So yeah, we go over to them. Yeah, they won't recognize Zelda somehow, even from the blue hood. Kind of stupid of them, not gonna lie. They're kind of dumb for not recognizing this is Zelda. Um, but yeah, like I said with the Zol, there is a side quest we can do with this one kid in Hyrule Castle Town, based on the trailer, at least. Um, we just need to show him a Zol, and then, um, I guess, maybe that'll be it for the quest. Let's see, though. Hi, Miss Lady. Have you ever seen a Zol? This small little monster you can find all around here. I saw a picture in the encyclopedia from my dad. So they're round and wiggly and so super cute. Isn't it kind of weird the monsters can be cute? Well, I've only seen them in pictures, so I don't know. Maybe they're scary in real life. But I can't stop thinking about Zoles. But maybe if I could look at a Zole, I'd stop thinking about Zoles. Zoles, Zoles, Zoles. Okay, let's go and show them a Zole then. There it is, that's one. A Zole, it looks, like it looks just like the picture in my encyclopedia. Oh, that wiggly body, those big round eyes, it's so adorable. I just knew it would be cute, even though it's also a monster. <laughs> Thanks, Miss Lady. Now I like Zoles even more. Oh, did you know there's all kinds of different Zoles? Those even Zoles are like candles. It might be cool to see one of those, too. Okay, so I'm like a candle, like an Igni Zole, I'm assuming. There it is. That's one. Okay. Oh my gosh, an Igni Zole. It's totally different from the green Zole. It looks like a candle. But it's really hot. Wow. I think we're gonna melt. Can people melt? Big flame. Yipes. I know those are monsters, but they're such interesting monsters. Thanks, Miss Lady. No, like Zoles even more. Okay. Although, talking, I think I need a glass of water. Reminds me, have you heard of Hydro Zoles? Bigger when they're wet. <laughs> okay. So, he wants a Hydro Zole. Okay. We don't have that yet. We have a Fire Normal Zole. So, I guess we can't do that yet. And actually, wait, before I forget, Cry is showing me the Warp Boy air. Here. Here's this. Damn. Okay. We've explored pretty far north of the map. Damn. Okay. I guess next time we'll make our way, we'll be making our way off to, I guess, the next area of the game where uh, the next major rift is, which is going to be um, all the way out here. So I guess next time we're making our way off to that area, exploring it and seeing what we find there. So yeah. 
Hope you all are pumped for that. Um, I am very pumped for it, to be honest. Um, I actually... Ooh, you know what, actually? You know what? <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna go and release a pee head on you, buddy. Get over here. Come on. Yeah, let's go and learn this echo now, which is... A Tangler. Interesting. Got Tangler Echo. Okay. That's fascinating. Um, okay, yeah, of course, there are wanted posters of Zelda everywhere. Who would have thunk? Anyway, it looks like Eastern Temple's north, Seaside Village is east. So, um, it looks like a temple is right here. So, we're in Eastern Hyrule Field. Okay. There's another warp point. So, we're, we're getting so many warp points. Okay, we're actually, we're getting close to the next village. So, I guess next time we're making our way to the village and checking things out. Actually, what's this? Real quick, though. Let, let's check this out real quick. Before we move on. Hey! What? What's going on? What's going on? Oh, this guy. Hello, who are you? Hey, bro. Hello! The stamp guy. I love him since I was a tiny tot. No, I'm Hyrule's huge stamp fan. We're curious about the stand. Who's a stamp stand? A stamp for stamping stamps. Our stamp's great. They... That clunk when you press one down to leave a stamp behind. Clunktacular from start to finish. That's why I love a stamp rally. Traveling for stamps, collecting them all. Sounds fun, right? Look here, a stamp rally with stamp stands all over Hyrule. Red rally? Uh, I am. Sure. Here's my stamp. Oh, now, okay. So we get a stamp card. Our first stamp. Okay. So I'm guessing this is a sort of collectible. Now you're gonna have fun because I had fun making it. Now get a stamping like you've never stamped before. Okay, so this is our first stamp. Interesting. Great work with a stamp. Let's look for stands like this all over the world and get every stamp. But hey, there aren't many stand there are any stands underwater or in buildings, and they're not in caves either. That'd be widget dangerous for my tastes. Okay, reward if you fill up that card with stamps. Push yourself to find them. Okay, okay, all together now. Ready, set, go stamp rally. Okay, so I guess there's a set number of stamps that we can get in the game, maybe. So I guess it's a Five? Is there just five stamps in total, or is there more than that? I don't know, honestly. I genuinely don't know. Whoa, what is this area, did? Oh god. Oh god. Okay. Nope. Stop it. Stop it, please. Come on. Stop it. Really? Now. Oh god. Go, G. No. Please. Stop it. Put it. Please. Stop. Please. Stop it. Oh god. No. Quit it. Yeah, let's go. Okay, we got him. So we learned the Sword Moblin Echo. Okay. Interesting. Oh god, okay. And hey, guys, another monster thing. Nice. Okay, so what is this? Is this like the next temple of the game? Wait, this is like the Eastern Palace. This is literally like the Eastern Palace. Oh my god. Wait, is this next temple? Oh, you scared me. Okay, sorry, bro. Sorry, nerves. The name's Sa Sago. I'm an archaeologist. Is there any particular reason you're here? I always have to go inside. There's a monster in there. The other day, I went inside and I heard this creepy voice. Let's play a game. Oh god. Wait, that's exactly what it sounded like. Okay. Yipes. Okay, I'm up to now. It might sound friendly, but that's the voice of a monster. I'm not seeing the temple while there are monsters about. Okay, let's play a game. So, is this a full on temple? Is this a full on temple? Oh my god, I think it is. Wait, this is the Eastern Temple. Okay. Eastern Temple. So, this is a brand new temple in the game, guys. So, I guess next time. I'll be taking on this temple if we even can. I'll be investigating it. See if we can take it down. If we can't take it down, then we'll revisit it another time. By the way, thank you so much for joining this one on The Legend of Zelda Echoes of Wisdom. Be sure to leave a like down below if you enjoyed. Subscribe to the channel if you are new and one more Echoes of Wisdom on the channel. Be sure to click on that bell. Turn on your post notifications so you can see any kind that I post over here. Go on Echoes of Wisdom, anything. And of course, if you guys want more Echoes of Wisdom, be sure to subscribe, share, support by leaving a like and just watching the video. I know these are lengthy episodes and I do apologize for that, but this is blind. And I want to show as much of this game as possible, because I'm loving it, and I just want to play this game so much. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next time in Echoes of Wisdom, in the Eastern Temple, and see what's up ahead, and make your way to the next village of the game. See what's up there with the next rift. I'll see you all then on Echoes of Wisdom. Peace. Out.